guest is a talented actress best known for her years on a longtime hit sitcom, Full House. She's now starring, <laughs> starring in this summer's breakout drama, the sexy WB show called Summerland. It was in Cabo, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That night, that Bryant and I went out on the boat, and you stayed behind. Both of you. It wasn't planned. And then we're home, what, a week, and you break up with me? You broke up with me because of Tracy? No! Listen to me, please. Can we just leave the past in the past? What we have... Please welcome Lori Loughlin. <laughs> Did you hear the reaction? The Full House got a big reaction. Yeah, that was very nice. Yeah, they probably have. Thank you so much. Tell them the story. Summerland is a big is a big hit. People, it was a big hit this summer, right? Summerland. Yeah, we debuted three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's it's on the WB. It's on the WB. I did my Tuesday research. Nights at nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> it's your idea. It is. Can right? you believe that? Does that mean you're the creator? I'm one of the creators. Well, that's great. Well, I came up with the concept. Then Stephen Tolkien wrote the pilot, right, created right. the pilot. Yeah. Well, how did that work that you came well, up with the Well, I concept? was lucky. The WB asked me to come in and have a meeting with them. And I didn't want to go into the meeting without an idea for a series, because often in those meetings, they'll ask you if any, any thoughts about what you want to do. Sure. So I thought, what can I do that would bring the WB demographic into the picture? And I, wanted, right. I didn't want to play the mom, but I wanted to get young people on the show. So right. I thought, what if I was like the single aunt who lived in Southern California, who was a fashion designer? Yeah. And... Um, Actually, that wasn't my idea. That was right. Aaron Spelling's idea. To Aaron but, Spelling came up with the fashion designer. Fashion, fashion. But you were the single, but I was hot the single relative. Oh, okay. Yes. Right? Thank you. Thank you. And then, and then what happened? And then her sister gets killed in an accident. She always, gets her sister's three kids. Always funny. Got to be a death. <laughs> yeah, it works. Someone passes away. Right. And then I get the three kids off a farm from Kansas. A 16-year-old boy, a 13-year-old girl, and a 10-year-old And what's the location boy. again? Where are you living? In well, it's some. It's called Playa Linda, but it's a, a fictional place on the beach in Southern California. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not a. It doesn't really exist. And and it was going well. This was the original. This was the original look of it. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. There you are. In, <laughs> right. in jeans and, and and a blue little throw a little top. Yeah, a little. Kind of looking at you, saying, "Yeah, who knows? Who knows what's on?" <laughs> Looks very innocent. Innocent. Isn't it? Yeah, very innocent. Yeah. And then somebody decides to <laughs> sex it up a little bit. There you are. <laughs> Yeah. Who makes that decision? I think that uh, I, that could be a spelling decision, too. Yeah. It's kind of key to show some skin, right? You know, Aaron said to me once in a meeting, he said, call me crazy, but I, I think I've had a few hits around fashion and hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. he, he knows his stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. He knows what the public wants. So the public likes it. What about reviews, and do you listen to and read those reviews? I do, I do read the reviews. My favorite review was from the New Yorker. And the fact that we even got reviewed, well, actually, we were sort of piggybacked off right. of another review they were doing, right. but the last line of the review in the New Yorker was my favorite. There it is. Oh, you have it. Yeah. Yes, the reviewer wrote, I actually really hate this show, and I will probably never miss an episode. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I really like you, that review. You struck a, a nerve there somehow. I, yeah, I thought it really summed it up. Because it is that, it's that very, like, nice family show it is a little kind of hip and cool but yeah. you kind of get sucked into it yeah yeah you, you can't know, miss it well it's not you know it's not now groundbreaking what? television but it's, right. it's wish fulfillment and i think it makes everyone feel good you say it's family and then it's and it's also hip right yeah yeah we're trying now, what to be makes a hip it, family does that mean the the young kids that you've inherited are they are they doing are they drinking does that make it hip <laughs> are they getting are these episodes where they can't... Well, let me think about it actually in the pilot the 16 year old boy he did come home drunk but he was very very hip very hip. Yeah. Then last weekend he was faced with smoking pot, also oh, hip. Oh, see, drugs, yeah. Hip. That's foreign to me, but that's the new and generation. We, we have, we have, that's the new generation. And then we have the whole sex thing coming up, so, you know. You mean some of the young people are, are, make, are, are having the SEX? Uh, Is that right? Possibly. Yeah. But they, it's, it's, it's new, though, so you've only had a few episodes, right? Yeah, we've only, we've only aired three new episodes. Do right. you, as the, as the single hot aunt, yeah. do you have a love interest on the show? Well, I, well Sean Christian, who was in that clip, yeah. is my ex-boyfriend on the show. Yeah. And there's still supposed to be 
something between the two of them. Right. No, we I mean, call not those actually, sparks. Exactly. Sparks yeah. are flying. But we don't want to bring them together too soon because no. that will ruin the show. Ruin and then it becomes like the traditional mom and dad, and we don't want to do that. So when you, maybe later in the season, you guys get drunk and there's some fumbling and some groping. And some, <laughs> some of the XCX. I can write <laughs> this. I can write this. The, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's exciting. Tell us about you had a big. Uh, you're married now. I am married. I've been and married you, for a while. And actually. you were going to have. Uh, you were going to have. Thank you. <laughs> All right, she's not single. Yeah. But you were. Uh, you were going to have a big wedding, but something happened. Well, we decided that since we had both been married before, and. Uh, that didn't work out for either one of us. We thought, well, we don't want to make a you know big deal of it, so we yeah. just thought we would elope. Elope. Yeah, you know, see what happens. <laughs> Play yeah. it by ear, see if it worked out. But um, so we thought, you know, it was close to Thanksgiving. We thought, let's get married on Thanksgiving morning. It'll be great. Then we'll go to Thanksgiving dinner and tell everyone we got married. So we got up at sunrise Thanksgiving morning. Is, it, is this and, the picture? Uh, yeah, those are the pictures. Is there an order to the pictures? Well, is no. It, is it one, I, two, three, well, like that? Yeah. Oh, is, what do you have? Yeah, let's tell a story. Well, that's, oh, well, there we are. That I think that's after we actually got married, and that's our good friend Darren Wilson, who was, uh, there was a minister there, but Darren did everything I'm else. I'm sensing it was cold. He, it was a little chilly. <laughs> a little chilly. Yeah. Yeah. It's romantic. And then, uh, oh yeah, that's me saying have the, new, the brand new wedding ring on right there, drinking some champagne. That's about 6 a.m. in the morning. So you yeah. guys planned this out or it was just wake yeah, up? Yeah, we really planned, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> we planned it. And then and this... it was very muddy, so we had our sneakers on. You can see all the mud. And... All right. Yeah, yeah, so that was, it was very romantic. How many years ago was this? Almost seven years oh, ago. Oh, congratulations. But it's going have... very well. <laughs> so... Before we let you leave here, do people come out and, and, and yell full house to you all the time? They all always... the time. Yeah? yeah? Is that the big thing, the full house? Is yeah, and still? also it's rerunning a lot on ABC Family and yeah. Nick at Night. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and do you see Saget a lot? I do. I do see Bob. Yeah. Crazy Bob. He's always on, isn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you always find him funny or does he get He's ir- very funny. In fact, it's not so funny. John Stamos had a stalking issue. He had a stalker when we were doing Full House and it, yeah. this one particular evening when we were taping and we got this news about this stalker and everyone was like on heightened alert and they brought in, you know, security guards and the metal detectors and it was kind of tense. We were all a little bit nervous sure. and we used to do a huddle before we would go out and take our introductions yeah. and we were in the huddle and Bob looks at John because John had the best parking space out of all of us. It was right next to the soundstage door. Stamos, yeah. Yeah, it's John Stamos. <laughs> of course. And, Bob, and we're in the huddle and Bob looks up at John and he goes, can I have your parking space? Ah, I get it. You see? He, he just, that saget always working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuesdays at 9 on WB Summer. Yes. It was great to meet you, young lady. Thank you so all right. Much. All right, Locker, we'll be right back with Lynch.